Morning everyone, this is Callie from Gemmins and today we are working on a brand new soap. This is going to be my signature hemp soap and we are going to be using a cannabis flower scent that is absolutely beautiful. Um, it, it, it oh, I just love the scent of it. It's very floral, it's woodsy, it's um, not what you think a cannabis plant would smell like. So let's get soaping. I have my oils ready to go and I have my light water ready to go. We are going to be using, uh, for coloring, activated charcoal and this beautiful green. So we're going to split our batter in half and we're going to do it. So I'm going to turn the camera down and if you have any questions, let me know. I just wanted to also um, announce I got my square reader in the other day. I'm so excited because now I can actually sell locally and take uh, Visa payments. Visa, MasterCard, and Discover, and whatever other payment you guys offer or need me to take, I'm able to take it. So it is a really good thing. So let's get soaping. Let me turn this camera down so you guys can see what's happening today. All right, so in front of me is our batter. It's temped at 80 degrees, which is what I want to temp at. It's nice and fluid, and I've already mixed the oils and the butters together. My soaps are always a hemp butter, hemp oil and hemp butter. And this is a secret recipe of mine that I have used and will continue to use. All right, let's get our, our personal protection gear on, our PPE as we call it, and our gloves for our lye water because if you get lye water on you uh, it could burn your skin and we don't want that all right let's pour this in actually what I'm going to do first is put my burnt my burnt my stick real quick and then we're going to gently pour this I'm going to pour it right down my stick so it doesn't bubble up and pop on me because I do not want to get hurt. And I do have pets that are actually relaxing right now and sleeping and we want them to relax also. And I don't want this to pop up on them at any, any given. As you see, I switched over to a plastic container and I, lo and behold, do not have any of the, the uh, ash ring on it. And they worked really good. I was really surprised. I was able to find some, uh, able to find some plastic containers that were a, a level five. Uh, on the bottom of your of the plastic containers, there is a plastic container level of the plastic. And in order for you to use lye, you have to have that level at five or above. And that's what these are. And so they've worked perfectly. I did. A batch of them up the other day of oil or a lye and it turned out really good all right so let's get this mixing we're gonna take this to a light trace I hope you can see that there we're gonna put it low it's gonna get a little loud sorry I will try and keep it there All we're doing is just mixing it to make sure that there's no oils. The oils and the lye work together really well. That when I pull the stick out, the batter is really quick. This one went, went really quick. I don't even think I need that on there. Because this is mixed very, very well. I'm going to do one more. I think this is pretty well done. Just a little bit. Let's do this one more time. Just a quick mix. All right. Splash up in my face a little bit. I'm seeing a really good mix here, so I'm not gonna do any more. I want to keep it really, really fluid. All right. So let's scrape this off because this is good to go. Get all that goodness off of here and every little bit that I get out of here is more that my customers get in the end and that's what we want. Mm. 
All right, that's out of there. All right, we're gonna put some of this batter in this other container here, and we're gonna mix in the dark charcoal in this one. And there we go. So this one's gonna have the activated charcoal in it. Where's my little spoon here? And I've not added my fragrance into this yet. I will. I'm adding it last. I want to get the color in here first. Because I have not used this soap before and I do not know how it's going to work. Ooh, that is a nice black. That is exactly what I wanted. Alright, and we're going to put the titanium dioxide in this one. And mix this up. Why am I adding this first before I add the fragrance oil? Um, it has a tendency to seize up. And I don't know if this particular one will seize up. So I want to make sure that they're both mixed really good first. There's a beautiful color on this. Alright, so let's do my coloring on this one. I just want to... That was a little bit too much. I wanted a lighter color, but... I guess I'm not going to get that. <laughs> get this. Actually, it's the green I was looking for. It's a pretty green. I've been working on this for quite a while, trying to come up with a signature recipe, and this one I actually did come up with. So the fragrance is my own fragrance. You cannot find it anywhere else. out of the way. And we're still mixing a little bit here. It's going to give us a couple different colors, but that's okay. I like that. All right, so let's add just a little bit of the fragrance to the first one. This doesn't have any vanilla in it, so it won't... It shouldn't... Uh, have any issues. We'll pour the rest of that in here. This should be good. Alright, put that in there. Mix this all in. Mmm, it smells so good. Like I said, this is a signature, my own scent, and you cannot buy this anywhere else. I want the black streaks in, so we're going to do green first. Ooh, that is really pretty. I like that green. How about you? Should be good. I'll put that in there. So let's pour this in first, and then we'll streak in the black. And I need my spatula back. Get all this yummy goodness out of here. And this batter is working really, really well. I'm very happy with it. It didn't seize up like I thought it would. I'm going to let these sit for 24 hours and then I will cut them. And then when I'm done cutting them, I will let them sit for one more week. And then this bar will be released on my website or on the site that I'm actually selling on, which is either eBay or Bonanza. I will link down below. All right. I like to get all the icky, all the stuff off of there. Okay, Ooh, that is a good batter. This batter turned out really well. I'm super happy with it. All right, so now let's mix this black in a little bit. And then we'll do some swirls. Normally I would try and get a bunch of that off, but I'm not going to do that this time. So we're just going to pour this in. Mmm, look at that pretty black. Let's save a little bit of the top. All I'm doing is just trying to get 
this to soak through. I'm going to turn it this other way. And the last little bit I'm going to put on the top. So I'm going to swirl it one more time. I'm going to go backwards. All I'm trying to do is get the, the black down. It was a little bit on the thick side, so I'm just trying to swirl it in a little more if I can. And then, because this is setting up really fast, which is okay. I, I had hoped that would happen. Get that off there. Let's see if I can grab a corner of that. Okay, I don't need that anymore. But I need my spatula back. And we're going to heat this up down the center, just like that. We're going to let that sit and rest. Because I'm going to twirl it up on the top there. And we're going to have a really pretty top. This soap is going to be gorgeous. I cannot wait to see what it looks like when it's done. Okay. Get that last little bit of soap. Perfect. All right. A little dab out. I think we got it all. Put that aside. And there's our bar. I'm not completely done with it yet. I'm just gonna clean the one edge off a little bit. Get rid of that. Now I'm gonna take my gloves off because what I wanna do here is I need to go grab my sugars that are gonna be on the top. They're not sugar, it's actually uh, rock salt with a little bit of crystal in it and it kinda gives it a little bit of a shimmer, which I really like. All right, here we go. in a little bit all right so that's ready to go let me go grab a quick spoon actually I might be able to do it with hair you see that all right okay let's see if we can build this up that way we can get some of the green on the top oh there we go look at that pretty green and black this is exactly what I was going for. I really like this. This is pretty. I like the mixture of the green and the black. This set up really quick. And that's a good thing. I'm happy with it. Let's do this other side here real quick. Not so much the green on the green on this side but that's okay I kind of wanted it that way don't worry about that I'll clean that edge up in a minute all right this soap is setting up really fast it's nice and cool and in, in in our house today so I expected this to go a little bit slower or a little bit faster than normal and that's okay He's setting up really fast. Look at that pretty green and black. I'm very happy with this soap. Do that there. Pop this down on the side. And yeah, I'll clean all my edges up here later. I'll get I'll wax them down here. There we go. Alright, so there's that. There's the soap before I put the crystals on. Isn't that pretty? I love the colors on this. I wish you could really see this. I know that sometimes the camera doesn't always do justice, but I am really happy with the soap. I'm just going to sprinkle the top on with this with a little bit of glitter. Get those to stick in a little bit. Some of them are going to pop off when I cut the soap. But that's okay. Why did I choose green and black? Well, I wanted to do a soap that was a, a black charcoal, but I also wanted to enhance that hemp a little bit. So I decided to do my own fragrance of, uh, of the hemp flower. And I had a base hemp flower, and I just enhanced it a little bit with some other scents, with a true cannabis scent to give it that real good cannabis scent. 
and a few other things. And that's how I came up with it. It is my signature scent and you cannot buy this anywhere else but here. I'm just gonna sprinkle my hands on here. All right. This soap will be released in a week. I will link it down below as soon as it's ready to be released. And there you have it. Let me get a paper towel and we'll clean those edges up real quick. Always helps for a better cleanup when you do this. There's our soap. Throw that paper towel away and I'll lift it up. And there you have it, folks. There is our cannabis flower soap. I will probably rename it to something a little bit more unique. But there you go. We're all done. Thanks, everybody, for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was a very quick 15-minute, 16-minute uh, soaping. I did all the prep in advance just to keep this very short and sweet. Um, like I said, I do have my uh, square reader in finally, and I've got a few more scents that we're getting ready to gear up for the holidays. Uh, I'm breaking those down right now. I had to get a couple more. Uh, my gingerbread is ordered. I forgot it somehow. I don't know when I ordered it, but it didn't come in, so I reordered it, and it's on its way. And I have a few other really cool scents that are coming in. Also, some more dyes and colors. I'll probably do another unboxing at some point, but we'll see what we'll see how things go in the next couple weeks. This soap here again, like I said, will sit for 12, for uh, overnight, and then tomorrow we'll, I will cut it and I will attach it to this video for you so that you all can see the cutting and what it looks like inside. Thanks everybody for joining me and I wish you all the best. Bye! Hi everybody, Callie with Gemmins here and today we're going to cut our soap. The soap that we made yesterday was my uh, very own proprietary uh, soap you can only buy this soap through me no one else makes this soap it's a special scent that i put together as i talked about in my video yesterday so let's get cutting <laughs> all right this has been sitting overnight it's not 100 it's not 100 cured but it is hard and it's soft enough for us to be able to cut it and we're going to do that because if i wait any longer this soap is going to get super super hard and then there's no cutting it's it really does get hard as I've shown in my previous video. So go take a look at that. I didn't take a look at this at all at yesterday. Ooh, I think we have a pretty soap. Let's pull the other side. Oh yeah. Oh, this is gonna look nice. What I'm doing is I'm releasing the mold from the soap, just doing it very, very gently on each side. It's very hard. I did check it last night before I went to bed and I could have undone it. Felt like it was it my soap felt like it was falling apart here but it's not it's good there we go look at this beautiful soap we're unmasking today let me see if i can get it out of its mold it does feel a little bit on the soft side still yeah it is actually we'll be a little bit careful with it it didn't change my recipe or, or do anything different i just put it in here I'm just trying to get that turned around so i can move it out of the way there we go, and there we go. There is my signature soap. And I am very happy with it. Look at that beautiful green and black. It's perfect for the hemp soap. Looks like I was able to get the black to go streak down. Let's cut this soap and see what we find. Throw that in there. Me. See what we find. It is a little bit soft. I can feel it on its edges. So I'm going to be really super careful with it. We'll cut us an end off here. And we'll use that as our sampler. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that soap. That's what it looks like inside. That's just one end. That's the... That's the one I'll cut up and use for samplers. I already have a box put together with my scent 
and a paper towel on the bottom of it. The soap will sit here for the next week um, to make sure that it will harden up really hard. And then I will put this up and list it up for sale. And this bar will be a regular bar that will not be going out of my uh, uh, store anytime soon. So rush to get it, but if you need some time, don't feel like you have to get it tomorrow. I will make more because this is one that I've wanted to have in my store for a long time. And I finally got it done to do that. Okay, so this is cut number two. Oh yeah, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh, I love this soap. This soap turned out so much better than I thought it would. Make sure it's back. I'm sitting down today because I've been a little ill all week. I ended up with a really bad kidney stone. And uh, so I'm kind of a little under the weather today. Feeling good though. Feeling healing. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, I love this soap. Oh, and the smell. Mmm. The smell in the soap is phenomenal. All right, let's get cut number two going. Oh, wow, there we go. Look at that. This soap turned out so much better than I thought it did, was going to. I'm very, very happy with it. I did order a wire cutter. I was able to find one on Amazon, so I'm going to switch to a wire cutter. I think it'll cut my soaps a lot better than this board, although I do like this board. Now, let me just continue to cut here real quick. This bar is actually cooperating with me. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yep. There you go. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? This soap is phenomenal. The smell is amazing. With the hemp flower and the cannabis mix. Oh, yeah, look at that. I am very happy with this soap. Yep, same on that one. Put these other two pieces on the side here. I don't know if you can see how I'm layering them in there. I'm going to do this. Looks like I might have another sample piece. Ooh. I will list little samplers up on this one. I didn't want to do a full... Where's that? I did not want to do a full um, sample bar on this one, but I think I might, only because it turned out so well. Um, how can I turn this around here? No, I want it this way. And we're going to go like this. Level it up to that. I'm going to just gently cut it straight down. Oh, it didn't move. Good. And there's the last piece. So that soap turned out so much better. There's the other sample piece. And now I just have to let this get sit and get hard. And then once that happens, I will... Ooh, actually, this is soft enough. I can do the edges right now. I have to sit down and clean this bar up before I let it sit because it's going to... This one's going to harden up really quick. So there you go, folks. There's our soap. Put the crystals down the side. And there you go. This is cut up, ready to go. This will sit for a week, and then we will list this up on our site. All right, I'm going to put this away. Get it completely out of my way because I'm going to show you something else that I'm working on. I finalized my baby soaps and have come up with a really cool recipe and we're going to start working on those. I'm going to kind of show you a process of how I organize my scents for the next ones to do. Let me get these out of the way too. I'll clean them up in a minute. Just get them off my counter. It gives me a little bit more room. So I know that I want to do baby soap. And so in doing baby soap, I'm going to pick out my scents. Well, I've already done that. And so what I do is I have this box and inside the box is my recipe and I also have my flavoring. For my true baby scent, I'm only using a little bit, tiny bit of the hemp oil. And that hemp oil 
um, is a very low, low, low level. So it's completely safe for babies. I've loaded it with all the other ingredients that will help baby. In other words, with shea butter and coconut oil, those are all really good nourishing for the baby, as well as um, the castor oil, which kind of gives it a little bit of a bubble. But I wanted moms to be able to feel safe in using that, that soap. Um, it is not a no tear soap because these are handmade soaps. I am looking for a no tear recipe. I have not found one for baby yet. The only, I think the only way I could go with a no tear soap with hemp is if I do a glycerin soap. And so I am looking into that to make a different type of a soap. So this is the recipe that I came up with for now. I am going to use this. So I recommend that you do not put this around baby's face and eyes. And if you do, just be very, very careful with it. Use a washcloth to wipe the face off. Um, in other words, wipe on and wipe off. And also, you know, if a baby's gonna put their thumb in their mouth, obviously, you know, be really careful when you're bathing them because uh, you don't want them to put it in their mouth. Even though it would be okay to do that, baby would not like the taste and it's just not a good thing. Get their binky or their pacifier and put it in their mouth if that's what they want. Um, the scent that I will be using is called Baby Powder. I got this from New Directions and it does smell just like a baby powder. I thought this would be a beautiful one. I am going to do a second one and it will be a lavender so a lavender essential oil one. I have not developed the recipe for that. I'm working on that right now. I'm gonna probably finish it up today and then I will be doing uh, another video that will be a baby. So it will be, I'll be doing two different soaps for baby and we'll be doing them in smaller molds so moms can hold on to them easier in their hands and it'll be, it'll be just a much better uh, thing. So you can do the baby powder during the day and maybe the lavender at night and I'll put some soaps together for day and night and I got a whole thing that I'm working on with that. But I don't have my recipe for my lavender yet and I'm working on that. So that's how I do my scents. And then uh, what I do is I have it in a little box um, and I'll show you this, my recipe. Let me flip that over. I put my recipe and my uh, bottle in here so I know that this is for my baby. This is just how I organize. You guys can organize your, yourself the, the way you want to. Now this is a boy girl. So with this being baby powder, baby powder is kind of a light colored um, scent. So I'm choosing because it is for baby and for, and for newborn. I am not going to add any coloring to this one. The reason for that is, is simply I'd rather not. I want babies to have as a pure soap. So that's what this will be. It's gonna be a pure, a tea, a, not a, a pure, not tea, tear free soap. So, but it will be a pure hemp, not pure hemp. Uh, let's rechange that. It's an all natural baby soap that only has a light scent to it. And the scent will not be very heavy in this also for babies. So it'll be good for newborns, especially those because they're very sensitive. So we'll, we'll work on that one for this one. So that's my baby soap that I'm working on. That one is completed. My next one I'm working on, I'm gonna put it in this box because I didn't bring my other box over with me. This uh, recipe is for my toddlers. This is a toddler recipe I came up with. It's a little bit stronger then my baby soap this one will be a one to uh, a one year old to three year old and so then that one will go in here and I chose to do watermelon for them only because the other scent that I have is a bubble gum and I think um, kids would like the bubble gum over the watermelon I'll probably do a mix of all three at some point and do uh, a well not a mix of all three but I'll probably do the watermelon and the bubble gum in reverse and do it the other way too so that you have both flavors for both kids and other these will be shaped i will put these in some of the really cool shapes they'll be boy girl i will color them according to boy girl but the scent will be the same for both so boy and girl will get the same soap for toddlers and then i will color them either pink or blue or maybe i'll do some fun i've got some really bright bright uh, greens and oranges coming too. I'll do a mixture of different soaps that you guys will have. So that will be part of my babe, my toddler line. And here again, this is a hemp recipe. So there will be hemp in this recipe as that would be an awesome thing for them. All right, so my next one would be then my kid. And 
this is going to be a limited edition kid one, but this will be a bubble gum. And this one will be colored a pink and a blue. Uh, I was going to pick my pinks and my blues. Pink, and let's do a really cool, I have a super, super bright blue coming for boys. Uh, where'd my blue go? Oh. All right, so I have that blue. I have that blue. That's more of a teal blue. Actually, I think those two are the same. Um, so I have three different blues here. This is still bright blue. I mean, this is kind of a muted. This is called bell bottom blue, or should I go with lapis blue? Let's do lapis blue for them in the bubble gum for the boys. And I have these cool little, there's like a waffle and these little toys that I'm going to put in them. And this is going to be a limited edition. I think there's 20 characters in here, so I'll do, do 10 of each for a boy girl. And it'll be bubble gum for them. So that'll be a really cool flavor. So that will be my kid. The kid one will be available for those that are, <clears throat> let's see, toddler to three. So this one will be four and up to 12. <clears throat> and this one will have the hemp oil in it. And then I will also do a teen recipe. That one's going to be really fun because I'm kind of going to do something a little bit different with that one. Teens are going to consult with my own teen son and see what's, what the trend is and find out what a good scent for them are. And then I will do some stuff with that. I'll probably do a flower for a girl and, and probably a, a, a beginner male scent for the boys. Um, so that'll be really cool. I might be able to find a recipe for a, like a perfume, a beginner perfume for boy girl. That would be really fun for them. But those are still in development. Um, I do have the recipe for the teens done, so that is on its way. I, of course, and then the rest of it is in the, the, top, the, excuse me, the teen one will be from, from 13 years old on up to uh, 18 and then from 18 on up you the they can use the regular uh, uh, hemp level that I have for adults so that'll be good so in each of these levels that have done baby on up to adult I have specially formulated the hemp to go with their bodies too much hemp in a baby obviously as with anything or a toddler or an infant it doesn't matter across the board no matter what the ingredients are you always have to be careful with the young ones versus the 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 elders is the older so i've developed these recipes for for the hemp for their body types specifically so you know that your hemp is going to be safe to use with any level and remember i'm using hemp seed oil it's not a cbd product it's completely different the hemp product that I use is a hemp seed, and if you go back and watch my videos before, the hemp seed is very uh, nourishing. It's, it's filled with vitamins and minerals and antioxidants and omegas, and it's just, it's a very good nutritious um, item to put into your body, and I highly recommend it for any age, truly. Um, I know that now that I've had a chance, I know in the beginning of the videos, I was having a really hard time with the hemp seed oil. My body was having a hard time adjusting to it because I was using it so much. I found now that I've used it enough in my system that I feel a little better. I mean, that's my personal opinion. It's not a, it's not a health, I'm not making a health claim or, or saying, oh, this is going to make you a better person or make you feel better that's not what I'm saying for me personally I've felt a difference in the way my skin feels and the way I personally feel using the hemp uh, so I think over the years when cannabis first came out it was very misunderstood and it was a plant that was not really fully developed and studied and I think now that with the legalization of it, of cannabis directly, the plant, the marijuana plant. Now studies are able to be conducted so that we can really find out the true benefits of what these different parts of the, the cannabis plant is. And the seeds themselves are very nutritional. They're, they're very good in many, many, many ways. And the, a lot of them are being regrown or rebred in 
a non-THC uh, gaining plant so that when that you don't get the hallucinogenic effects of it. I know with hemp seed, I, you don't. Uh, I've been using it. I'm a full attestant. There's no, halluc there's no THCs in this whatsoever. Uh, I, I will 100% guarantee that that is not of the case in these. Um, if it is, it's so mild that you won't even feel any effects to it. Uh, I've never felt any effects to it. So, and I'm a very, very sensitive person. So uh, chances are, according to everything that I've read and studied on, there's nothing in there on there. Uh, there's nothing, no THCs in any of the hemp seed products at all. So they're completely 100% safe to use. The difference is, is being able to do it in a level that is safe for each age group. And that is what I have developed. I have spent quite a bit of time working on these recipes and making sure that they are safe. I don't want to put a product out that's going to harm someone. As always, if the testers are available and you're really unsure, buy the tester first and try it out and see how you feel with it. Try it on the baby and the toddler and the kids and the teens, you know, see how you feel with it. And if it's a product that you really like and you want to continue, then go and buy my large products. I love the fact that the samplers are available to you guys and I will make more samplers. I just haven't done it right now. I'm trying to get my big bars ready to go so I can get them up and selling. The sampler bars are going to be coming. I will be doing small slices like I showed before in one of my previous videos. So you will have those samples available. I just haven't done them yet and I probably will do them next week and get them out, um, get them settled up because they do take about a week to, to sit and then I'll release both of them together. So rest assured, the products that you're getting are as safe as they possibly can be. I do use all natural ingredients as best as possible. I don't like adding extra things. In other words, I don't use polysorbate 80, even though that's pretty much a natural product. I don't use it. Uh, I do not use uh, some of the others. I will be using a vanilla stabilizer only because the only way for me to use vanilla in any of my products is I have to have a stabilizer otherwise my soaps turn really brown which is the natural color and natural uh, progression of what vanilla does or I will simply do an all-natural vanilla soap that allows that color to come out which is probably what I'm going to do because vanilla naturally is a dark brown and so it's just doing its natural process of turning brown and I'm okay with that so that's coming up I the Baby stuff, I will probably do a video here in the next couple of days on that. I am going to be doing a few other things throughout the next week, couple of days. And then Thursday, Friday, I'll probably film the baby because I want to get a baby one done and, and set up right away and do something really fun for moms and get a toddler one too because I love toddler stuff and I've got two kids myself that are now grown. <laughs> so I wanted to develop something that was really fun for for you guys <laughs> and that's what I'm gonna do here so those are coming up this week uh, I will film probably the ba the baby direct one and the toddler one if I can get to the kid one I will but I will probably wait and do that one next week I will also probably do my sampler bars next week for the hemp and I'll just do them out of the without filming it probably and then we'll go from there so how I set myself up you've already seen that and that is how I do all my uh, when I get ready to do my sets, I put them all together in either boxes or in, or together in something. Um, and so, and I try and keep that all together too, when I'm doing it with the exception of my coloring, because my coloring could change throughout. And I might, if something isn't selling in one color, I may do another color. Or I'll do a mix of colors. I'll change that. But uh, up and coming, I am wanting to do probably next week, my a start on my Halloween themed and my back to school. My back to school will be starting right away. Uh, we've got school ending here in the next couple of weeks for a lot of people in our area. And I know a lot of schools are already graduating because it's the end of March. So I will be working on back to school stuff next year uh, for in June because that's going to come right around the corner really quick. We only have we'll have what three months before the kids go back to school and that's not really a lot of time <laughs> so I will get a few bars of that put together for you all and then um 
you know, it's it's good. I've found that my soaps are not, are actually in my environment are hardening up faster than I thought they were. So instead of releasing them um, a month later, I'm going to go ahead and re-release uh, or excuse me, release those products that we've been making early. I've already started that process this morning and getting them labeled and packaged and ready to go. So since some of those have been sitting for two and three weeks, those products are going to be coming out fairly quickly. And I will try and link a, a link down to the st a spot where you can purchase those products. And I'm really excited about that. This launch is going a little bit faster than I thought. I My website itself will not be launched like I thought it would. Unfortunately, I've hit a snag with it. And it's going to probably be till September, October before I physically launch my website itself. Unless I can find an alternative that's a little bit cheaper for me to get into. Um, but we'll see, you know, it's it's a progression and I may just go and do a Shopify uh, store and just call it good and let it be. You know, I don't know. I haven't made a decision. I just, I've been so busy the past couple of weeks that I haven't had a chance to really sit down and think things through. I know where I want my store to go and I know where my business was going and I know what I'm doing. I just have to figure it all out. And that's part of the process of building a business is sitting down and making those logical and, and, and decisions that are going to last you for a long time. I don't want to go in and build a Shopify account and then turn around and close it down the following month because my regular store has come up. And that's the dilemma that I'm working on right now where can what what is the best solution for me right now well today my best solution is to continue to sell on ebay and bonanza and i will list those links down below once those products release and then i also have my facebook account so i have three basic stores that i could get developed right now that two of which are already up and running i just have to list the product and that does take time but once i get one product listed everything else just flows through and I can copy those into um, each of the other. I can copy and paste and list more faster by doing that and then just making a couple changes to my listing. The third thing is, is being able to make sure that the payments are coming through. eBay did a number on me this morning and I'm not happy with it. They decided to take payments on their own without PayPal. I'm not happy with that because I have to now go get a brand new checking account to keep my business accounts separate. I've been using PayPal for, God, 20, since 1996, whenever they, I can't remember what they, what they'd started. I think it was 96 or 95 when they actually started. And I've been with PayPal from the beginning. So I have an account that's been there for 20 plus 30 years. I'm established there and I want to keep my payments there. So I may not be using eBay anymore because of that. I don't want them to deposit. I don't want to go and create a brand new checking account when I already have something set up. They've forced me now to create a brand new payment system. Not going to happen with me. I'm going to stick with what I know and what's best for me. Now, having said that, if this system does end up working better and my fees are lower, I might consider the changes, but they just gave me notice yesterday and I haven't had a chance to look at it. So there's some dilemmas that you have, that I'm, I'm thinking on in my business. I do have my square set up, my, my little square so I can sell locally. So if you are uh, living in the local Roy Washington area or in uh, Yelm area, or even if you, if you live in Washington state on the west side and and you're interested in these products, please let me know and I can try and, and get a delivery to you. I'm trying to deliver to my local areas only to people that I only know only for safety reasons. So I will make available what's available when I can at this point. So a lot of a lot of things working on the business. It is progressing very well. The product is working very well. Now I just have to start listing everything up now that I've got stuff done. The bath bombs that I did all turned out perfectly. They're ready to be packaged and, and listed up also. Uh, everything's just happening really well, and I'm very happy with what I've got going. So there you have it, you guys. I'm going to sign off and go get some rest because I have not been feeling good all week, and I will talk to you 
later next week or later on this week, new soaps and new projects. Bye everybody. Take care.